Minecraft is a game full of infinite wonder and endless possibilities. Just when we think the limit for breaking Minecraft has been achieved, something, someone, comes along to shatter everything we know. Byte, short, int, and long. These are four of the data types used within Minecraft to determine how high various numbers can go. Byte is a signed 8-bit number, meaning it can go from negative 128 to positive 127 and governs things such as the effectiveness of certain item enchantments, the limit to most player effects, among other things. Short is a 16-bit number, ranging from negative 32,768 up to positive 32,767. An int is a 32-bit number, ranging from approximately negative 2.147 billion up to positive 2.147 billion. This number governs many, many things within Minecraft. The primary item for this video that it governs is the maximum achievable distance that you can travel within Minecraft. I mean, yes, within modern versions of the game, there does exist a wall at 30 million blocks that cannot be surpassed. However, this limit is entirely arbitrary. Using very simple mods, this limit can be removed, allowing for travel all the way to the integer limit, 2,147,000,000, and for at least 10 years, this is as far as anybody has ever successfully pushed the game until today. Today, thanks to a very powerful mod made by Pyrift, Minecraft's maximum distance has been pushed from the integer limit to the long limit. Long. Long is a value type ranging from negative 2 to the power 63 up to positive 2 to the power 63 minus 1. Now, thanks to Ekwal, the second ever person to reach Minecraft Beta 1.7's Farlands on foot, we know that walking to the Farlands, 12,550,824 blocks away, will take just over 40 real life days. This means we can realistically expect to walk about 13,000 blocks an hour. Because of this, we know that walking to the integer limit would take about 19 years, plus or minus some bathroom breaks. But walking to the long limit would take roughly 810 million centuries. But first, a quick message from Manscaped. I may not be able to stop tearing Minecraft apart, but you can prevent tearing yourself apart by using the right tools for the right job. Do you need to care for your crops? Manscaped. Maybe you just need to mow the lawn? Manscaped. If you're just looking to protect what's closest to you, head on over to manscaped.com and use my promo code ANTVENOM for 20% off and free shipping. Where do we even begin? This is a mod for Minecraft release 1.2.5. The reason this version was chosen was due to it being the very last version of Minecraft before the client and server code was merged together. This version was, plain and simply, much easier to develop this mod for. This mod replaces nearly every single integer value within the game with long values and modifies the world save code to allow for all of this to work. This might sound simple, but it's not. There's a reason that this mod took 10 years for anyone to make. I mean, it took Pyrift three weeks of eight to 10 hours of coding per day to make this mod work and to get it running at all. But now that we have it, where do we even begin? Well, first off, let's teleport to the integer limit, 2,147,000,000. Huh, this is wild. The game's not crashing. Never have I thought that I would find normal terrain so extraordinary. A 
Aside from one of the spawn chunks repeating itself every 2 to the power 36, or 68.72 billion blocks out, the first major glitch becomes noticeable at 2 to the power 48 blocks out, or roughly 281.5 trillion blocks. Yeah, you can walk for hundreds of trillions of blocks before even noticing that anything even remotely major is wrong. What happens at this distance may seem familiar to some of you. If we crouch walk and surpass 2 to the power 48, it becomes easy to notice that a stuttering effect is occurring while walking around. In versions prior to Minecraft Beta 1.8, a very similar bug was noticeable only 2 to the 19 or 20 blocks from spawn. But this is not that bug. This bug is actually the exact same bug that occurs in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, where it feels like you, the player, along with every other entity, are hitting walls as you're walking. Except in this case, it occurs at the 64-bit equivalent. So, if Minecraft Java Edition is now somewhat mimicking Minecraft Bedrock Edition glitches, but at different coordinates, at what point will we run into the Stripe Lands? Well, in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, they occur 16,777,216 blocks from spawn, but in this Java Edition mod, they occur at just over 9 quadrillion blocks away. And at this point, it's also worth noting that we can no longer move along the direction that we're traveling using just normal flight speed. It feels like we're missing something. The Far Lands. We're missing the Far Lands. Or at least, it seems like we are. When using integer values, we can calculate where the Far Lands will be by taking the integer limit and dividing it by 171.103. However, because all int values have been replaced by long values, we now have to divide the long limit by 171.103. Doing so provides a value just over 53.9 quadrillion. Upon teleporting to this location, nothing. Nothing's there? But hang on. In normal Java edition, when the far lands are enabled, they can sometimes appear 1 to 4 blocks closer than we might otherwise expect. Well, a 1 to 4 block integer variation turns into billions of blocks of variation for a long value. Through a little bit of trial and error, we do indeed find the far lands just over 53.9 quadrillion blocks away. Within the stripe lands, the far lands look pretty trippy. However, one other thing this mod does implement is an optional stripe lands fix. I need you to appreciate the scale of what we're dealing with here. We are tens of quadrillions of blocks, or meters from the spawn point. We are 5.7 light years from the spawn point, and yet we are still less than 0.6% of the way to the new world limit. At this point, we need to teleport in increments greater than 10 quadrillion blocks to even notice any new effects at all. Now, this is the point in the video where I would just teleport to the expected location of the next major milestone, otherwise called the Farther Lands, a video for which you can check out on the top right of the screen. However, the Far Lands don't break down as they normally would with the 32-bit limit. Instead, they behave a little bit more like Minecraft Bedrock Edition Farlands, where the detail of the Farlands break down very, very slowly, starting from 53.9 quadrillion blocks all the way to 4.312 quintillion blocks. Now, here's 60 quadrillion blocks, just after where the Farlands start. Looks pretty normal. Next up, 100 quadrillion. Fairly normal, but noticeably less detail than before. 150 quadrillion. Okay, now things appear noticeably more messed up, and repeating patterns are starting to emerge. 
500 quadrillion, the repeating patterns are becoming more and more pronounced. One quintillion. Now, any variations in the Farlands have almost been entirely replaced by these repeating patterns. Four quintillion. The repeating patterns are becoming less and less frequent. And finally, 4.313 quintillion. The repeating patterns are entirely gone, and what's left in their place are what we would expect of the Farlands. From here, all the way until 9.223 quintillion is nothing but this. From one end to the other, using this mod, Minecraft is now 2 to the power 64 blocks long. That's just over 18.44 quintillion total meters from end to end. To put it another way, it would take light 1,949 years to travel from one end to the other. That is insane. And for now, that's all I've got. There are other things worth noting, such as elements of grass generation breaking beyond 2 to the power 35 blocks if you travel in the other direction, among a lot of other things, but I'm going to wait for those things to become more well documented before considering even making another video on the matter, because otherwise that video would be a mess. But rest assured, I do want to make it. If you want to check out this mod for yourself, I put a link in the description down below for you to try it out for yourself. Just keep in mind that it has to be installed with MultiMC using vanilla Minecraft 1.2.5 using the add to Minecraft jar button on the console window for your Minecraft instance. Now, whether you're among the 81.5% of males who watch my channel or the 18.5% of females, everyone deserves the right tools for the job and Manscaped has you covered. I mean, would you take care of tending to your body as badly as this build has been taken care of? I wouldn't think so. Whether you're after the right tools for mowing your lawn, whacking your weeds, plowing your road? All right, innuendo aside, when it comes to maintaining and preserving your most sensitive landscape, check out Manscaped. For a limited time, you can save 44% off of their performance package in case your balls really need saving. So yeah, if you all enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.